Hi everybody, uh, it's Ellen and I am here to share a couple of tips with you if you are working on Yupo paper with acrylic inks or India inks or whatever medium it is that you happen to be using. Um, and this is a very minor tip, it's not earth shattering, but it is something that I think is valid and you may not know it. Uh, so I wanted to share this with you. Um, as you may know, uh, if you've worked on Yupo paper, it's got a sheen to it. And as you can see here in the video, it's shiny and it's very, very slick. And if you happen to work on a surface, either flat or at an angle, which this one is, this is why the image is sort of skewed. I'm working at about a 45 degree angle here. Um, how do you keep your paper still without using tape? And as you can see here, I'm holding, this is my current uh, project that I'm working on is this baby elephant. And I am starting to work on the detail. So I wanted to bring my image up so that I wasn't straining my neck looking down flat on the surface. Um, but as you can see, it's not staying at all because the, the, the sheen of the paper, it just sort of slides all over. Whether you're laying it flat or not, if it's flat and you're using your brush and you you know brush too hard your paper's going to go shooting across the table so how do we keep this from happening well you don't need to use tape you don't need to use anything special other than water so what i do um, is i take a clean uh, brush and i dip it in water and i get it saturated please don't mind my very dirty table i'm really bad at cleaning off my my table here so my apologies um, it doesn't reflect the rest of my space in my house i promise but it is very dirty um, i take water and i just line the back not heavily just a little bit i mean this is a fairly small brush i just line the back place my paper down and look at that it stays and this really it's it feels like it's almost glued on I'm trying to move it and I really can't that water on the back is seriously like glue it's I mean I'm pulling pretty hard and it's not moving down if you want to move it you're gonna have to lift it all the way off and reposition it so that is a perfect way to keep your paper in place whenever you're working on something. And from personal experience, it will stay like this for days. Um, since this is a non-porous paper, the water is not going to get absorbed up into the paper, so it's just going to sit uh, between the paper and the surface underneath. So this is a great way to keep your paper into place uh, without having to use uh, any tacky adhesives or anything else. So again, that's a very, it's a minor tip. <laughs> it, it, it's not rocket science, but it really, really does work. The second tip that I have, although I'm not going to demonstrate it for you, but I do want to mention it here today. If you are working on inks with a lot of water, instead of waiting to uh, watch your ink dry, for an hour or whatever before you come back and work on the next layer, the next section, you can use a hair dryer. Um, and uh, I have a hair dryer that I use, just an old hair dryer. And I, if I need to work on some area and I don't have time for another area to dry, I will put my hair dryer on low. And I hold it far away. I hold it about a foot away from my image because if you get really close with your hair dryer not only are you going to blow your ink all over the place which i don't know you might want to do that i've been having some success with that lately but if you hold the heat too close to the paper this paper will warp and it will be a permanent warp so just make sure that you hold your your hair dryer back about a foot uh, unless you have a cool setting, of course. If you have a cool setting on your hair dryer, one of the new fancy hair dryers, then you can hold it as closely as you want, but you still risk the ink sort of splattering all over the place. So those are two tips I just wanted to share with you, and I will have more um, coming up, but hopefully this will help you as you make progress 
with uh, your inks on Yupo paper. As usual, if you have any questions, please let me know. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.